Stanley? Yes, sweetie. Amelia wouldn't let the cleaning woman in the apartment today. No, maybe she can't afford her. You still think he just walked out, don't you? Yep. Well, then he walked out on his job, too. I answered the telephone today. It was his boss. Ben Gerber hasn't been to work all week. Is that so? And Amelia hasn't set foot out of that apartment since you and the detective were there. What's she doing up there? I wouldn't know about that. You can stop worrying about Verba, because he isn't dead. How do you know? Mrs. Glavatsky was in the store this morning. She told me he's staying with his parents, wherever they live. His parents live in Queens. Where did Mrs. Glavatsky get her information? I didn't ask her. From her daughter, probably. She and Verba are pretty friendly, it seems. I don't believe that. He wouldn't waste his time on that silly Glavatsky girl. Anyway, that's where he is. He hasn't been murdered. But Stanley, that Let's isn't... Let's drop it, shall we? We've made enough trouble over nothing. I mean, I can't afford to get that kind of reputation. My business depends on the goodwill of this neighborhood. It's just mind our own business from now on, huh? Ben Verber is not at his mother's house in Queens. I just spoke to her. She said she hasn't seen or heard of Ben all week. You mean to say you phoned him? Of course I did. I told you that woman killed him. Honey, take it easy, sweetheart. Take it easy. His mother said that Amelia brought the children over there that day after that last quarrel, but that she didn't say a thing about Ben. Well, he can't be dead, because there's no way Amelia could get that body out of the building, and it's not there. But she did it. I don't know how, but she did it. Stanley, if you don't call the police, I will. Oh, right. honey, go on home. I'll be home in just a minute. Go on. Hello, Mrs. Berber. Oh, would you give me some more of those candies, Mr. Crane? Oh, you've really got a sweet tooth, haven't you? Yeah, I nibble all the time. Right there you are. Nerves, I guess. Anything for the children? Milk? The children? Oh, uh, they're with their grandparents this week. My husband is staying there. His father's been sick. I won't be needing any milk for a while. Oh. Yes, I heard your husband was away. I... Mrs. Glavatsky mentioned it. Mm. Connect me to Sergeant Halloran, please. Oh, what's up? Thanks for coming over, Sergeant. I don't know whether this is important or not, but I think I ought to pass it on to you. You figured out what she did with the body? Well, I don't know whether there is a body, but I do know Verber isn't where his wife says he is. Where's that? At his parents' home in Queens. She says Verber's there with the children. Well, the kids are there all right, but Verber isn't. Nobody's seen this guy for three days. Well, that brings us right back where we started. The guy is missing, and maybe he is dead. But what did she do with the body? Lead pipe sense that she didn't get it out of the building. And we know. Wait a minute. Okay. She couldn't get it out of the building, but she could get it out of the apartment. Is there a vacant apartment here? No, but there's a basement. Nobody ever uses it except to tend the furnace, and it'd be safe until next floor. That's all right as far as it goes, but how could she get him down there? A corpse is a dead weight, if you'll excuse the expression. It isn't reasonable to suppose that she could drag a body down two the flights. Elevator. That's it. It's so old and wheezy, nobody ever uses it much. Let's see if it still works. Let's look at those trunks.
What are you doing down here? Did you find anything? Honey, this is no place for you. Go back upstairs. I, I was scared. I didn't want to be alone. Oh, there's no need to be scared. There's nothing here. Yeah, it looks like we're on again, Mrs. Crane. Go on, go on. What's that up there? Boy, I'm always falling over that. I've looked at it every day and never saw it. Because it wasn't there. How many times I went to answer the phone and crashed into that baby buggy. He's here. He was here all the time. You were, I said, you were. You better get her upstairs. Come on, sweetheart, let's go upstairs. You said you were from the Board of Health. I was afraid of you, but I didn't know why. I know it's useless. They're all against me. You don't care about me. I'm the woman he married. It wasn't his fault. He'd never know he was a married man the way those women kept throwing themselves at him. They wouldn't leave him alone. I thought I didn't know. <laughs> a Govatsky girl. All the rest of them. He wasn't so bad, really. But we had our fights. Sometimes I think about getting a divorce. What happened that night? He was packing his bag. He went into the bedroom and he started cramming everything into a suitcase. He never did know how to pack a bag properly. Where do you think you're going, I said. Out of the country, he said. South America, maybe. She's going with me. We're finished, you and me. I'm going to get a divorce. What about the kids, I said. What about them, he says. I can't afford to support them and her, too. He couldn't support his own kids. On account, he had to support her. That's... That's why I killed him. wasn't his fault. It was yours. You're the one I should have killed. You. You, you were going to take him away from me. He was leaving me for... Oh, 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 o